morning, people of God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on the place you are. We bless the name of the Most High God. We thank our Father, our faithful God, for His goodness and mercy upon our life. Our God is faithful, people of God. We woke up this morning. We need to appreciate the Lord. We thank God for His goodness, His love upon our life. Thank King of King, Lord of Lord. People of God, our God is good. Our God is faithful. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To the most high God, to the living God, for waking us, us today, for seeing this beautiful, wonderful, lovely morning. It's not about power, oh, people of God. It's not about mind, it's not about strength. It's by the special grace of God we are awake. We bless God, we thank God, people of God. Hallelujah to the most high God. Hallelujah to the living God. The Lord is good all the time, all the time. I just want to read the word, word of God, to encourage everyone that is passing one situation and further. But so you are passing through, stand firm. The Lord is there. The Lord is seeing you. Call upon the Lord. The word of God says, Call upon me. And the days have trouble. And the Lord will see you. All of us speak. So whatever situation you are passing through, take it to God first. Pray to God. Has the Lord to take control over it. And you will see the Lord will do wonderful. He will perform that wish that concerns you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the most high God, to the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So whatsoever you are passing through, take it to the Lord. I pray. That is what the Bible makes us to know that we should always be praying. According to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Prayer is the key. That is why I love that song. Prayer is the key of key. Jesus started with prayer. He ended with prayer. Prayer is the key of key. You can see it. prayer is the key to open door to your success. Prayer. To open door for your breakthrough. Prayer. To open door for your miracle. Prayer. To open door for everything you desire. Prayers. Prayer is important. Pray without ceasing. Don't be tired. Don't be say this is my situation. I'll be passing through. I'll be dreaming about dream. It is not cancer. No. Pray. The Lord is seeing you. The Lord is watching you. The Lord will deliver you. And every bad dream, whatsoever you have seen yourself through, use Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7, to cancel it. He said, You shall not stand. Neither shall you come to pass in your life. So the plan of God for you is not of evil, it's for good. According to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the toys of God is for peace, it's not for evil for you. So use the word of God to declare your breakthrough, to encourage yourself, to stand firm, to defend the powers of darkness, the word of God. So the Lord also make us to know. In first Thessalonians chapter, in first Corinthians, I mean, chapter 10, hallelujah, verse 13. He said, I will not give you temptation that is greater than you, that is bigger than you. He said, I will never give you. You see the Lord. So whatsoever you are passing through, the Lord knows that you can overcome it. You can overcome it. We are his children. So he will not give us who is bigger than us. So when you have that situation, come, call on him. Depend on him. Trust on him. Acknowledge him. Thank him. Appreciate him in that situation. Whether you do it, whether you did not do it, learn. Hallelujah. Learn how to thank him, people of God. Learn how to pray. Learn how to appreciate him. In that situation, the Lord loves to appreciate him. He's God. He's almighty. The creator of heaven and earth is not that creates you. That creates me. So use the word of God to challenge that your situation. Enter the word of God. This is the word of God for you. So when you read this, ah, this is for me. Use it to pray. Swallow it. And you will sing. It will digest your stomach. It will digest that situation. Hallelujah to the most high God. He will deliver you. He will set you free. So the blood of Jesus Christ is available for us to be delivered. So people of God, come to Jesus and be saved. Bring your situation to Jesus and be saved. He said, cast out your care upon me. According to 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 16, cast your care, I think so. Cast your care upon me. So bring your care, bring your worthiness, bring your authority, bring your situation, bring all to 
God of Almighty, as you do so, the Lord will bless you and deliver all of us up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, people of God. Thank you for watching my video. Continue to subscribe and like and love my video. As you do so, the Lord Almighty will deliver you and help you all in Jesus' name. God bless you. My name is Sister Mercy, the Tabernacle of God Fellowship. Subscribe, like, share. God will help us all. At the end, we make it to heaven. But all that thing again, Jesus is coming soon. Let's repent. Let's repent. Repent. And be saved. The Lord is near. That is number one. Save your soul. Save your soul. And pray to God help us to save our soul. Go and make our way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom. Bye bye. People of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the most. I go bye. Thank you, my father.